Hello, my friend, whatever you are in the world, here is afternoon. And um, thank you for being here in this beautiful day with me for a short while uh, watching Valentina Design Universe. I am Valentina Cirasola, and I am the host of this show. Today, um, we generally meet here with interesting people, uh, with people who are going to inspire us on different subjects. Um, today, I will be by myself talking about colors, color gray. And oh God, I feel really in the clouds when I see gray anywhere or even on me. I feel in the clouds, I feel like I am enveloped by sadness because that's what um, gray does to me, it makes me feel closed in. But, you know, I've never been a lover of um, couche colors, as I call them, couche, dormant, you know, colors that make you feel asleep, they make you feel like, well, the day has to go by. In fact, I don't have any picture to show you about the gray color and how to use it, but I have found other things that are copyright free that I will be showing you. The um, idea of uh, gray is, um, don't get me wrong, I love gray when it's done right. And I do wear it, especially in the winter, with the right tone of uh, accessories and the right tone of um, uh, other clothes, other colors. And it becomes very elegant and sexy. But when it comes to the home, um, there are a few things we might want to talk about, okay? In the homes, gray becomes interesting when there is a lot of natural light around us, like natural light coming from windows. And um, in the daylight, you should have lots of natural light. In the day, in the nighttime, you should have with gray walls, you should have um, a lighting, a, a, you know, artificial lighting that is sculpting, sculpting the walls and sculpting the furniture. So that's the way, one of the way, one of the many way to deal with um, gray. Now, listen to this. Uh, when you have, for instance, oh, first of all, I want to show you something. I want to say something. Gray walls pick up the colors of what's around it, okay? The colors of furniture. Um, picks up the, um, the colors of the accessories. And uh, so if you have a white cabinet against the gray wall, the gray wall becomes much lighter. It becomes alive. But if you have a black furniture, anything black, accessory, anything black, that gray wall becomes lifeless, okay? So that's another thing you need to think about, the lighting and the furniture you have against the gray wall. Then um, the, the, um, you can have uh, in, the, in the palette, okay, that's what I want to show. In the palette, okay, you have a lot of gray, a lot of gray possibility. So how do you decide? if you want a light gray, a dark gray, a medium gray, how do you decide if you want, um, some gray have a blue tones, some, some gray have a, um, a warm tone, like almost beige, 
So how do you decide which one is going to be good for you? So, one thing we should know. It's the location or where we are in the world. Okay? The location of your, uh, of your home makes, makes a, a good gray selection. Okay. In the northern exposure... Um, in the countries where they are exposed at north, generally, in the north there is a blue cast in the light, in the natural light. So, if you don't want that blue cast in the gray walls, then stay away from the silvery blue and stay away from all the blues. In the northern exposure, it's best to have, if you want gray still, it's best to have the warm side of the palette, the warm gray. In the southern exposure, it, the light has a golden cast. So anything is beautiful in the southern light. It's If you want gray, you can have cold and warm gray. The southern exposures are the best uh, rooms to decorate because they can take the warm and the cold uh, palette of the gray. Okay. So and then what else we have? We have the east and the west. In the eastern side of the world, the warmer tone come at sunrise and in the western the warm tone starts at sunset so knowing your location makes it easy to choose your colors your not only your colors but your gray colors because we're talking about gray knowing your location it's uh, easy to select a gray now, um, one other thing, <clears throat> so these are many, many things. These are the few things that you should keep in consideration. Um, the other thing is that many colors go with uh, gray. Uh, here we have a lot of people. Um, thank you, Elsie. I just want to thank you, all the people, just one second, all the people that are here. Thank you, Elsie, uh, for watching the show. And um, a few others, well, I can read the name, but thank you for being here. Let's see. Let's see who you are. Gisela, Gisela Garcia. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how gray looks with other colors because there are many colors that go well with gray okay so if we add gray and green let me see if i can show this see if it comes out <laughs> let's see okay green we have green here do you see green okay the green makes the gray a little bit light so it's not even though the sky is gray let's see if i can do this no okay pardon it's um it is what it is okay it's a small picture so you see the gray sky with the green lawn with the green nature it doesn't look so bad so we can add green to gray now let's see if I have another um, another picture. Yes, I do. Okay, what's the other picture? Now that's not it. Okay, this one is it's a horse. Okay, but it, as you can see, the horse is white and has gray hair. Let me see if I can do this. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm trying to get all my pictures together, but okay. The horse has a white skin and the gray hair. 
So if you put white against gray, it will look really, really nice. Actually, that's why with gray walls, often the trims are white to make the gray pop out. It, you don't have to do that. Um, any trim, the trim, the uh, the uh, window and door and doors trims can be brown. The brown is the best color for gray. Warm. Uh, warm um, brown. In fact, last week I posted a picture. It's not mine, uh, but it was um, a gray wall with brown inset made out of wood, and it was a bookshelf inset into the wall. People really, really liked that because it gave the tone of gray very, very warm. That warm tone of brown with a reddish undertone gave uh, a very nice colors to the gray walls. So now, let's see, I have another picture. I want to show you another picture. This one has a bluish, baby blue, you know, the ice, it's ice. Against the gray, see how it looks? It's almost coastal. And this is great for a coastal home. It's a great palette. One time I did a, a wood floor like this, gray. It was a... Um, uh, gray washed, like um, uh, distressed, and all the walls were baby blues and all in those colors, in those colorations, very, very nice. Um, so baby blue is fine. Let's see if I have another color. I do have another color. Ours, green, the green. Okay, this is the brownish, brownish red. The red that you see in the flowers okay make the brown the the gray very uh alive let me see if i can okay here we go okay the gray with the reddish of those flowers and brown and a little bit of green makes it look so nice it's not so dull and so couche okay but then there is another thing the yellow which i love very much I love yellow. In in this picture here, of course, we have bricks, but um, which it makes it it makes it really um, stand out. But the thing is, look at the intercom. The intercom is gray, and it's metal. It's satin, satin metal. So if you take that metal part. By itself, it looks very, very gray. But if you put it on yellow, it looks warm. So what I'm trying to say that yellow is the best thing for gray. Not only gives you the light, but it gives you the vibrancy that the gray is missing. So yellow, gold, golden tone, cream, gold, uh, golden, antique gold, any type of gold, golden colors will be just fine with gray. So here we go. I have, now I show myself, okay? Look at what I have on. I'm not sure if you can uh, see it. Let me see if I can take the title down. Maybe not. <laughs> Hold on, hide. Okay, here we go. Now, I have a camouflage shirt on. It is very gray with a lot of military green. What happens, this will, if, I, if it was alone, will make my face washed out. It will make it sad. It will make it uh, pooped out. Now, I added a yellow scarf. It is a bit windy, so it's appropriate. Uh, if it wasn't windy, a little bit cold, I would have done without the scarf. But look what I have. I have golden jewelry on it, on the, on the shirt. I have golden everywhere, on my arms. Because the golden yellow makes it really, makes the gray illuminate. And, and it's not so bad. 
So if you think about it, what you wear and what you do on the walls or in your home, it's just the same. We decorate with the colors we like to wear and with the colors that we look good. So this is my um, gray for today. This is my talk on gray. Don't be afraid of colors. Any colors, it's just beautiful, depends on what you do with it. Um, so I, as I said at the beginning, I'm not a lover of gray and I don't have it in my house. I don't propose it in people's homes unless that's what they want. So I find the solution for them. So don't be afraid because every color has its own uh, vibrancy. Gray is not a pure chroma because it's a mix of black and white. So it, being that it's not a, a pure chroma, you can add most of all the colors. Think about gray and pink and magenta and purple. They are just beautiful. They are colors that together, one uh, illuminate the other. And, um, and they look good together. Think about gray and white. Think about gray and brown, the best to me. That's the best. Uh, gray and red. So now in this outfit that I have, if I had put red scarf and red jewelry, it would have been even more um, attractive. And then it, the feel would have been just different, so different. So for today, I wanted gold because I felt that way, okay? Well, I hope you will, um, you will like to do some gray. Oh, there is one more thing I want to, I want to say. Most people like to paint their exteriors in gray. Okay, that's fine. But if you are surrounded by a lot of trees, and trees are green, um, why not add uh, a dimension to the house? Okay, so what we can do, by adding the dimension, I mean using uh, three different uh, greens, uh, gray, but pardon, three different grays. We can use the high value, the medium value, and the low value. So, meaning the dark, the medium, and the light gray, all in one house on the exterior. So that's that's really gives a dimension. The other thing you can do is um, to add a color to to the gray on the exteriors of the house. For instance, where the sun doesn't shine much and the house is mostly in the dark, so why not adding yellow? Why not adding light green, like light green, like pale green or yellow green that gives that natural light to the house that doesn't have because the sun doesn't shine much? How about um, adding, for instance, when for the when the house is in the dark, in the darker area, then put it a light color, like yellow. Okay, and where the sun shines a lot, then use light gray or any gray, because the sun will give you the light that you need on that gray. Okay, so that's what I do all the time. And actually, I have done that on my house. I have I don't have gray in my house. I have golden yellow, not sun yellow, not not this. It's a very toned down. It's antique yellow. Then I have ochre and cream. Three colors that just mix together very well with all the greeneries around and all the reflection of the sun on the greenery on the on the leaves and the plants. There is a lot of yellow in the plants when the sun shines on. So it picks up all of that and it picks up the, the house colors. So it's like a mixture. 
the trees and the house it's all the same and it's in harmony and that's what we're trying to do harmony harmonize the colors that will look good whether if you live in it or you wear it okay so don't be afraid of colors use them to your advantage if you need any help i'm here all the time you can ask me anything you like hello uh, russell how are you thank you for being here and watching the show and um i'm here all the time ask me and i will respond anytime so beg your peace love and i'll see you next time with a new colors or a new topic never know what's it going to be next week okay thank you so much for watching valentina design universe and uh bye for now